All right, so the headlines for the Daily News today says there's a billion reasons to dream. And that's because the Mega Millions is now almost a billion dollars. That's a lot of money. Now, what are the odds for winning Mega Millions? This is the number right here. 302 million five hundred and seventy five thousand and three hundred and fifty. That is the odds of winning Mega Millions. Just to give you some perspective, there's 375 million people estimated within the United States of America. And you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning. But hey, you never know, right? So how do we get to this number? How do we get to this actual calculation of the odds of winning Mega Millions? Let's do the math. All right, so in order to play Mega Millions, you have to pick from two sets of numbers. The first pool of numbers goes up to 70, and you have to pick five numbers out of that pool. So your numbers will not be duplicated. Then you have to pick one number from a second pool of numbers, which is uh, 25. So now let's do the math. So I'm going to do it on this uh, whiteboard over here. I'm going to try to make this as clear as possible. So we know that the first pool is going to be five numbers out of a pool of 70. So we'll just put 70 up here. And we're going to pick one number out of that pool. But now since we're picking one number out of that pool, that means the next number is going to be one number out of 69. That's your second number. And then again, 68. And then 67. And then 66 is the last one. So you have 70 balls in total for the first number. And then you have 69, 68, 67, 66. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply the top numbers by themselves. And that's going to give us an answer of, I'm going to break out my trusty calculator here. I'm going to say 70 times 69 times 68 times 67 times 66 equals 4, 5, 2, 3, 6. 1680. That's the results of the top numbers multiplied by each other. And then the multiplication of the bottom numbers, we could do that pretty easy. 5 times 4 uh, is 20, 20 times 3 is 60, 60 times 2 is 120. So then we're going to divide the top number by the bottom number. And that's going to give us a total of 1, 2, 1, 0, 3. 014 or 12,103,014. Alright, so that's the total for the first pool of numbers right there. But then we have the second pool of numbers, and we know we have to pick one number out of 25. So we're going to multiply the top number, this total number here, by 25, and that's going to give us that number of 302,575,000. Three hundred and fifty. That is the odds of winning Mega Millions. And that's how you get to that equation or that result using this math right here. So if you buy one ticket, you have a 1 in 302 million X chance of winning. And then if you buy two tickets, you have 2 in that number chance of winning. But again, the jackpot is almost $1 billion. Now while the odds are very high, that's a very high number right there, 1 billion. So, I got my ticket right here. Now, which state won the most times? I'll throw up a screenshot over here. And the results are that as of this recording, it's about 35 times for New York and 30 times for California. And then New Jersey is uh, following and then these are the rest. All right, so now that you know the odds of winning Mega Millions, are you going to play? Let me know down in the comment section below. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that notification icon, and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back, I want you. Hit you up, I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you